Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about injectors and what to look for. Welcome to VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. All right, so the other day while helping Vic out with his K swap in his AF Civic, his 84 to 7 Civic, he happened to dig out some vintage period correct RC injectors. I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, he told me that I could use those for my EF Civic project. And I thought, awesome. But then once he gave them to me, I forgot to ask him whether or not they were high impedance or low impedance injectors. And that makes a difference when using them on the car. If you have a low impedance injector and you use it on a car and you don't use a resistor box, then what's gonna wind up happening is you could eventually damage the injector driver on the computer. So with Hondas, when they use the low impedance injectors on the older cars, there's a little resistor box in there that actually raises impedance in order not uh, to damage, uh, to do damage to the inductor or to the, uh, uh, to the ECU. So I need to know what these are. Now I could have done a Google search real quick and looked up PL2270 and that probably would have told me what it was, but sometimes you don't have the ability to do that. I have bunches of these injectors sitting in boxes and I don't always know what they are. So it's nice to be able to measure them with a voltmeter and see exactly what's going on here. And I say voltmeter, I should say, mean multimeter. So basically I have my multimeter set up right here. These are the OBD1 injectors that I was going to use on the vehicle. And if we look at the impedance for these, it's gonna come in over 10, over 10 ohms. Let's see about 11.8, almost 12 ohms. So that is what the impedance is on these. Now I have, a few minutes ago, we were next door, I found an old Accord motor, which has low impedance injectors, and we measured those, and those came in, I think, just under two and a half ohms. So let's go ahead and measure the RC injector and see what it says. Well, there you go. That is gonna run out right around two and a half ohms. That's what we're gonna have on this injector. So we know this is a low impedance injector. That means we're gonna need a resistor box. And I just happen to have one of those right here. Now I actually set up the car to run a resistor box and then put a jumper in it. So it's gonna be an easy job of just going ahead and plugging this in and uh, getting it installed in the car. And then I can run these RC injectors. These are basically brand new. They're clean. So uh, I am gonna put these in and use those when I go get the car tuned at the dyno in the next week. I don't want to go into the differences of why some of the injectors are low impedance, some are high impedance. It has to do with the way the voltage is delivered to the injector. But uh, suffice it to say, you need to know what you have. You need to make sure on these older swaps that you're using the right injector so you don't cause damage to your ECU. I hope this has been educational. Please think about liking and subscribing. We'll see you in the next episode of 3-Minute Thursday. Thanks very much.